Water, circulating the earth and nurturing the soil, is the source of all life forms on this planet. But there is a side of water that has gone unexplored until now. Dr. Masaru Emoto of IHM General Institute has studied water for many years. Through his research, he has come up with an innovative new way to capture the essence of water. Based on his work, he has published a collection of photographs entitled Messages from Water. え、その私がなぜ、え、このような、あ、技法を編み出したこと、編み出したのか。ま、なかなか自分でも不思議なんですが、いわゆる従来科学の凝り固まった考え方ではこの見えない世界、水とか波動だとかそういう世界には入れな
もう涙はもうどれくらいに嬉しかったですねですから、えー、写真集の最初の方にその初めて撮れた結晶を紹介しておりますけれどももう一生涯忘れられない結晶です。Since then, we have gradually expanded our photographic collection while accumulating data. Some of the water we examined showed no crystal formation whatsoever. One such example was tap water. From what we could observe, beautiful crystals were a rarity when it came to tap waters of Japan. This was also the case in certain cities outside of Japan. As we continued our research, we began to discover that certain types of water produced beautiful crystals, while others did not. So, how are the frozen water crystals photographed? Begin by collecting a sample of the water that we want to observe. Here, our researcher is at Shiraito no Taki Falls, a well known spring on the slopes of Mount Fushi. The tremendous amount of water that precipitates on Mount Fuji travels through the mountain as groundwater. Twenty years later, it pours out as spring water here at the Shiraito no Taki Falls, where the water flow amounts to more than 100,000 tons per day. Water gushing forth relentlessly from the cliff. In search of water, our researcher is approaching an area just below the fall. He is filling the container with fresh water. He brings the water back to the institute as specimen. First, he taps the bottom of the container to activate the water. Then, he squirts one milliliter of water onto each petri dish. In order to obtain a more accurate crystallization trend, we create 50 frozen samples of every water specimen. The petri dishes are placed inside a freezer in the laboratory and frozen at minus 25 degrees centigrade. The crystals are then examined inside our laboratory, where the temperature remains at a constant minus 5 degrees centigrade. Three hours later, we examine the tip of each ice block by illuminating it under a microscope. The crystals start to grow and expand as the temperature of the ice tip rises under the microscope. 
Usually, however, of the 50 ice blocks that we have to work with, only a few reveal their beautiful hexagonal crystals on camera. What kind of crystal will the water from Shiraito no Taki Falls show us? Beautiful hexagonal crystal with delicate trimmings growing slowly from the six points of the hexagonal core. moment, our researcher identifies a sparkle and photographs it all within minutes while the crystal continues to grow and expand before it returns to its liquid state. A lateral view of the ice block reveals a protrusion at the top. That is because rather than growing two-dimensionally, water crystals grow three-dimensionally from the center of the core out. Unlike tap water, water from natural sources produces a variety of beautiful crystal structures captivating our eyes. This is water revealing another side of itself. Photographs that capture the unique radiance of water in its crystal form can be our guides into the esoteric world of water. あ、振動するということは、え、まあ、物理学の上ではもう誰も否定していないことです。で、その あ、
ことによってその結晶構造が変わるであろうということは原理原則をしていれば別にその不思議な話ではないね。How will the crystals change when water is exposed to music? In order to maintain consistency, we use distilled water throughout the experiment. This is crystallized water before it is exposed to music. Watch what happens when we play Mozart.
exposed to music, its expressive side shines through, forming and transforming crystals as it follows the music. It is as if these water crystals were a reflection of our own emotions. ま、我々日本でも戦後ですね、とても苦しくて辛くて、日本人ではなければ味わえないような辛い思いがありましたよね。ですから、ああいう時に起きた歌というのはとっても明るいと思うんですね。やっぱりそれぞれの時代のある
Water is letting us see the hidden power behind words. Here is another experiment that characterizes the mystical power of words. Inspired by our previous experiment, a mother and son came up with an experiment that they could perform on their own. In this experiment, they put cooked rice into two glass containers. Every day they said thank you to one and you fool to the other. The elementary school aide son continued this experiment for one month. At the end of the month, the rice that was told thank you gave off a rich and pleasant smell like that of malted rice. The rice that was told you full turned black and gave off a foul odor. As this experiment gained popularity amongst the readers of Messages from Water, it was repeated and reported by many. Words are said to breathe life. These photographs clearly showcase the power that lies within them. Next, we conducted another experiment, one that involved projecting our thoughts onto water and testing the effects of human thought forms and words. Through our website, we rounded up a group of volunteers to help us with this experiment. Four groups of parents and their children participated. In this experiment, we used two glasses of tap water taken from Tokyo. We should note here that crystal formation has always eluded the waters of Tokyo. To one glass, all of the participants expressed gratitude, first out loud, then with their eyes closed. Next, they observed the water for any changes. The researcher is now transferring this water onto petri dishes. The children look on curiously. Three hours later, the frozen water is ready for observation. We will start with the water that was left alone. Like so many times before, once again, we observed a total lack of beautiful crystal formation in the tap water from Tokyo. Next, we will observe the water that was exposed to good thoughts. The children gaze into the monitor. What will happen to the tap water when their thoughts become one? Then, from within the darkness of the microscope, 
a small crystal appeared and slowly started to grow. A magnification increase revealed the sudden emergence of a single crystal, clear and simple, as if to epitomize the thoughts of the people who had gathered. And then... In response to the words and thoughts of the participants, the tap water from Tokyo produced a beautifully balanced crystal. うーん、ちょっと思わなかったよ。化粧品を見てみて、どう、どうなんだろう。すごかった。自分たちがこう、売ったものが本当にそういう風になるのかっていうのはちょっと半信半疑なところもあったんですけど、実際にそれをあの見